Hello family, it's North Shore. We are going to be doing a bar exercise. You can take a broom apart, they just unscrew, and then you can use that as a dowel. Or if you had a dowel or a floor bar, they work. Uh, when you are doing work on a floor bar, well, if you're using a dowel, don't put your hands around, just leave your hands flat if you're gonna use a dowel. All right, let's get into our exercises. Okay, we're starting with a plank, regular plank. All right, then we're gonna do reverse, I'm sorry, not reverse plank, uh, elevated plank. All right, now go back to regular plank and let's do our hand walking, okay? You're gonna hand change, yep, walking across the bar and then hand change to reverse grip, okay? Each hand separately and then do both hands, okay? We do want the belly button over the dowel. All right, now reverse plank. Okay, hands facing forward. All right, so we're gonna go sitting in a pike, hook the dowel around your feet, okay? Try to straighten your legs, try to have your hands all the way around the bar, okay? So try hands around the bar. If your legs don't go all the way straight, that's okay. Now we're gonna get in the squat position, okay? You're using the dowel just for spacing, okay? So you're gonna squat onto that bar, okay? And then um, you're going to try to straighten your legs as much as you can, keeping your hands flat. Okay, good job, Mr. James. Next, we're laying on the floor. You have a hollow hold. Arms up, if you can. Let's show beginner is arms down. Okay, pushing the bar down. Then we have hollow rockers. Let's show the beginner, yep. When you get a little more advanced, you can pull that dowel up until it's all the way up. Then we have undershoot. So you're holding the hollow, and then you're doing the undershoot shaping, which is throwing the bar. Then we have... Um, leg raises, laying flat, bring your toes all the way up to the dowel for 10. Then we're doing floor kips, so leg raise to the dowel and pull. Okay. Next we have shoot throughs. So you're going to your hollow body position on the floor. Go to your hollow body position, hold it, and shoot through. Okay. Then you're going to do 10 of those, and then you're going to pulse. Okay, so shoot through and then pulse the split. All right, next we have, ooh, let's do those. That was a good impromptu, do that again. Go. Hollow body position, okay, do the shoot through. Thank you, Mr. James, and leg cut. Good, try not to move the dowel, do one more. Mommy. Shoot through, leg cut. Oh yeah, that's gonna be rocking, okay. Next we have our trackers with the dowel in hand. Note the rockin' haircut, if you guys can't see it. It's pretty awesome. All right, next, we're coming over here. Standing up, Mr. James, doing your hollow body hold position. Front support, hollow body hold, okay? Then we are doing our undershoot shaping. Yep, we're just gonna pull the bar over the head first. Pull the bar over the head, stay hollow, okay? Love. Then we're going to go undershoot. We're going to go over the head and then straighten the body out to stand, keeping the ribs in. Okay, you're going to do 10 of those. Okay, now we're going to pull up the pants. Pull up your pants. Okay, um, not so straight, Dad. Um, and then over your head and then straighten out. So pull up the pants, keep the head in over your head and straighten out. Okay, next. We have our, that's it for those. We have our chair. Okay, so we have two chairs. These are kind of rickety. If I had to be honest, make sure your chairs are not as rickety as ours. All right, we're gonna do our front support hold. So that's just knees down, front support hold, okay? Um, then we're gonna do, in that position, make sure the chairs are close enough together that they can shift their body weight, front support, and then we're shifting body weight from one side to the next. If you can't lift up your hand, you can't. Those are those creaky chairs that we have. All right, next we're holding in a tuck position. Tuck hold. Okay, next level up, pike hold. Okay, and then James is gonna pull his knees up in a tuck first and he's gonna ease his way up to a V. Easy, 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 yep. Yep, and you don't fall backwards. Make sure that you're very careful when attempting a V. Okay, next we have light cuts. So you have to position the chair so that you don't kick it. Okay, so we're doing the light cut, hand hop. Yep, light cut, hand hop. Okay, light cut, hand hop. 
It is not bad for them to do both sides for their flexibility and hip mobility. Now you can see Mr. James is not used to using that leg. Um, next we have a front plank, slide or swing to back plank. Okay, so here we go. He's out in the front, he's using his arms to support him and he's going back to plank, plank, plank. There you go. And then come back through and then swing to plank. Good. Okay, so now we can add multitude of exercises out of this swing to plank. Um, let's go front front plank, swing to plank, jump uh, to hand so your hands have to come toward me. Okay, front swing, back to plank, jump there. Oh my gosh, be careful. So you can see this needs to be done slowly and you need to test out your chairs, okay, to make sure that everything is gonna be all right, okay? Don't put your hands in the front. Don't, Don't put your hands too far in the front. All right, next we could do the um, shoot through. So do the front swing, front swing plank, front swing to back plank to shoot through. Okay, okay, awesome. Now we're just gonna show you one more thing, the masking tape pillow shoot through challenge. I like this better than using a dowel because the beginners may see some benefit here. Trying to do your shoot through. Good. Were we were we able to do that from a support position down there? I can't. Okay. Um, I would go from here, this front support position. I would go up to the feet and then, wow, you did it. That was good. I'd go up to the feet, yep. So I'd go front support, up to the feet, jump, shoot. Good. Try not to let the hands come off. <laughs> Okay, lastly, if you have a place that you can hang, like uh, pull-up bars that go in between your walls, um, some kind of safe, regulated, parental approved place that you can hang um, in your home, you should be trying to hang uh, to keep up your grip strength. You could hang for a minute in forward, a minute in reverse, mixed grip, okay? Working up to a minute, all right? All right, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can see how this happened. Yep, that happened. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks guys. We miss you. I can merge the video.